there we go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So can everybody please stand up for me? And we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. All right. I mute everybody so it's not uh, hard to uh, hear everybody. So. Okay, scouts sign up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. All right, and moving on, let's go ahead and do the scout oath. So scout signs up on my honor. I'll do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times and to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake and morally straight. And then finally, the scout law, a scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. All right. Great job, everybody. Uh, one last reminder for all the parents that are listening and all the scouts. If you have not yet earned your rank from last year, right? So if you're a, a bear uh, now, if you're in Den 2, uh, and you have not earned your wolf rank, you have until the end of this month, that's July 31st, to finish those requirements and um, uh, in order to still get your rank. Now, if you're going to miss that by a couple of days, just let me know. We'll, we'll make it work. But uh, that is the kind of official Boy Scout uh, cutoff for, um, for earning your next rank. So if you haven't done it yet, please make sure um, you try to complete those. If you don't know if you've done it yet, if you don't know if you've completed those ranks, uh, just have your parents reach out to me and we'll let you know what still needs to be completed, if anything. All right. So has Mrs. Kovacic joined yet? Does not look like it. So I am going to improvise and try to teach a little bit about geocaching. Full disclosure, uh, I downloaded the app this morning, so I am by no means an expert in geocaching. But um, everybody says that geocaching is like the world's largest treasure hunt. Do you guys want to go and do a treasure hunt? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? You, got, you don't yes. sound excited yeah. enough. I saw that Solomon looked like he was having fun. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. So let's learn a little bit about geocaching. Do we get cash? <laughs> no, it's a different type of wo a different word, different spelling for uh, uh, for cash. I said yes. yes so here's it has the word cash in it, so shouldn't we get cash? It's spelled differently. So nice try, but no, I'm not paying you money. <clears throat> All right. So what is geocaching? So geocaching is where you go outside. You go out into a park. You go out into um, a, a neighborhood, you go some out somewhere and uh, you look for these little hidden treasure uh, uh, markers, essentially, uh, using GPS. That could be an actual GPS device or it could be your phone, could be anything like that. So um, what you're doing is you're going to a very specific set of GPS coordinates. Do you guys know what GPS stands for? No. No? All right. So, so GPS stands for Global Positioning System. If you look up, well, you probably can't see them, but at night, there's all, and all the time, there's satellites circling the globe, and they're what they call um, geosynchronous orbit, which means they are always above the same spot on the Earth. And what they do is they send signals back, and your phones or GPS devices uh, can read those signals and they can tell how or where they are in the world based upon those signals that they're reading. In fact, down to a couple feet difference or a couple yard difference 
uh, based upon um, your your device. Mm -hmm. So when your parents are in the car driving and they have the map up that's showing where you're going and things like that, they're using GPS. They're using these signals from these satellites to tell them where they are. So what you're doing when you're going geocaching is that you're using those signals that your phone or, or uh, your device that can read those signals and you're trying to find a hidden prize essentially uh, using those signals and trying to find out where it is. So you're going to a specific set of coordinates, a specific spot on a map, and you're trying to find a hidden container at that location. So what do you need to, uh, what do you need to go geocaching? Well, basically you need a GPS device or a phone or a parent with a phone. Do you guys have parents with a phone? Yes. Yes. I yes. have a phone. <laughs> Oh, and Solomon's got a phone. So the only other thing that you need is a membership to geocaching.com. And now there's paid memberships and there's also a free membership. All you need is the free membership to uh, geocaching.com. And that is how you're going to go and find these uh, geocaches. And I think, did I, I, I think I just saw a text come through. Mrs. Kavasik, are you there? I don't see her yet. All right, we'll keep going. Hold on, I was asleep at my duties. There she oh. is. All Katie, right. There. Katie, are you there? Or I'll keep going. I'm here, sorry. I have you on mute. My house is like a train <laughs> ride right now. <laughs> No worries. So Katie, we just talked about what geocaching is and what you need uh, to go geocaching. Uh, do you want us to, uh, do you want to take over? Do you want me to keep going? And you can chime in and tell me what I'm saying wrong. No, you can go ahead because I couldn't pull it up on my phone. Um, All right. So the, the, the video, so, um, but I will chime in for anything, you know, if Perfect. I hear anything. <laughs> So Mrs. Kavasik will correct me when I'm wrong. So here's how you play the game. Here's how you go on your treasure hunt. The first thing you're going to need to do is have your parents go uh, either online on your computer or on your phone. Uh, for, uh, on your phone, you go and you search for geocaching.com in your app store or just in the, uh, uh, on the browser on your phone. You're going to go to geocaching.com slash account slash join and you're going to set up a free account and that's going to uh, let you see a whole bunch of different uh, geocaches around where you are right now and then you're going to go so if you're on the uh, web you're going to go to geocaching.com slash seek slash default and this uh, um, web page here where you're going to click on the link that says hide and seek uh, a cache you're going to enter your postal code and then it's going to show you a bunch of different um, geocaches around that zip code, around that postal code. You're just going to pick one. You're going to click on it and it's going to ultimately um, give you some information on where that geocache is located. You're then going to, uh, including the, the GPS coordinates that you want to, uh, to enter to be able to go find them. So you're going to type in the... Uh, uh, the coordinates into your GPS device. If you're using the app, you literally just have to tap it. Ironically, we discovered uh, earlier today when I installed the app, there's literally a geocache probably, I don't know, 20 yards that direction. So you're going to see on, on your app a whole bunch of different, um, I can get past these prompts, you're going to see a whole bunch of different uh, um, geocaches happening? around the area. What you're going to do is you're going to use your phone, you're going to use your GPS device to help find that hidden geocache. And it's only going to get you close to where it is. You still have to hunt and find the, uh, the hidden uh, treasure. Uh, so once you find it, on the inside of the uh, geocache is usually a log book. You're going to want to write your name happening? and date down. Uh, and then you're going to put the geocache back where you found it. And then, of course, you want to share your geocaching stories and photos online as well. So, Katie, how did I do? Did I miss anything? No, you did really good. Um, 
there are different um, variations of difficulty. So um, there's different size. So you can have a regular size, a micro or a nano. And I, the nanos are extremely hard to find. Um, so if you find one, you definitely have to let us know. As of a year ago, I wanna say there was one hidden at the Zillianopo Library that my family has been looking for and we've never been able to find it. Now, I don't know if it's still there because full disclosure, we don't have much time to go geocaching in our lives right now. So it's been you know a good year since we've tried, but those nanos are really hard. So you can definitely choose the you know difficulty level that you want. Um, also, when you're going for them, sometimes they'll try and trick you. So there was one that we were going to, and I'm not gonna say where, cause it's locally, but there may have been a snake that we thought was real. We hightailed it out, later found out that snake was a decoy to try and get us away from that geocache. So keep that in mind that you never know if they have something out there trying to deter you from finding it. What's the app name? The app name is geocaching.com. Or if you just search for geocaching, that's G-E-O-C-A-C-H-I-N-G. So, you know, Katie, you put it a lot better than I probably could have, but let's, let's actually learn a little bit from an expert. So I'm going to play a short video here. Yes, yeah, Solomon, that's, that's the app. That's it. So we're going to play a short video that tells you a little bit more about geocaching. So we'll send a link out to uh, everybody with, uh, with that video, but it basically gives you kind of the rundown of, of what we're talking about here today. Um, so in terms of the rules of geocaching, um, cause you're going to get to do this later, uh, this week and into this weekend. Um, if you, uh, some geocaches have things where you can, uh, swap things out, you can leave something and take something. So if you're going to take something from the geocache, the cache, if you will, from the geocache, not actual cache, Solomon, then what you want to do is you want to, uh, trade it for something of equal or lesser value. Uh, so if it's uh, a coin or uh, a pin or things like that, try to have something with you that you could put into that geocache as well. Um, and also inside of the geocache is going to be a cache logbook. Um, that's where you're going to write your uh, name and the date that you found the cache on it. You can also tag it in the app if you're using that as well. Uh, and you can log it online at geocaching.com. Uh, Katie, are there any other uh, special rules that we haven't talked about? Not that we have ever come across that we didn't do um, do correctly. I think you, you know, hit it. Definitely give one, take one. Um, sign your name. So maybe bring your own pen um, just in case there's not one there because we have um come across some that you're supposed to sign your name and there was nothing there to sign um so make sure you take your own pen and have fun with it it's seriously such an exciting fun thing to do it's something that the entire family can do i mean i did it when i was about to pop with luke i was very pregnant and I hiked for about five hours one day. So it's just really fun, have a great time with it and take lots of pictures. Yes. And if you take pictures, make sure you share them on our uh, PAC uh, Facebook page so that we can uh, all see those and see what you're, uh, what you're up to. So, um, so how does this play into today is, is day or is part one of our meeting. We're gonna make this uh, video and these um, uh, this kind of instructions uh, available to everybody in the pack, even if they're not able to make it. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to get back together on Saturday. And between now and then, what I'd like you to do, work with your parents, uh, the uh, meeting invite for, um, for Saturday's uh, meeting has some links to what we're calling our Scout Venger hunt. 
Uh, and this actually does two things. One is it's going to be a great way to just build up your uh, scouting skills. Uh, you can see it's it's not a huge long checklist. You're going to find things like a spider web or a maple, maple copter or a colorful bird. And you're also going to do some physical activities. And if you do those uh, those things and you do those activities, you're actually on your way to starting a new uh, another special award from the Boy Scout or from the Scouts, and it's called. Of course, I'm blanking on the name of it right now, but it is called um, the Scout Strong Presidential Activity Lifestyle Award. And um, basically, if you start doing the scout and your hunt, you do some of the activities, it'll get you started on your first day of that award. You can also uh, basically need to continue for 30 days staying active and staying, uh, you know, getting outside and, and spending some time exercising. And uh, if you do that, you're going to get to earn a special uh, patch. Looks like this has the presidential seal on it uh, to be able to earn your presidential active lifestyle award. Also, later this week, we're going to send out uh, more instructions, hopefully, on a very special pack geocache that uh, you can do to earn a special uh, added bonus act uh, uh bonus token, if you will, uh, for competing in that. So as part of your scout avenger hunt, I'd like you to get in, try to do some geocaching, see how many geocaches you can find before Saturday. We'll get back together a lot like our, um, our virtual campfire from last month. We'll get back together. We'll see how everybody did share our geocaching stories and our stories from our scout avenger hunt and see how, uh, uh, how it all turns out. Sound like fun? Mr. Maloney. Yes, Solomon. I'm looking on the app right now, and the one that's closest to me is about a mile away. Yes, so you'll want to go with your parents. It's on I, Glen Eden Road. Yep. So you're going to want to just uh, work with your parents to go find a, the nearest place. Maybe even go to a park. I don't know, Katie, um, are there any uh, that you're aware of in, you? um, like, Moraine State Park or anything? Oh, there's tons. There's tons up in Moraine. There's tons at the Zilly Park, all throughout Zilly. Um, I mean, if you don't want to go all the way up to Moraine, and you could find a ton of great Zilly and Opal stuff all over the place. And I saw a bunch in uh, the Cranberry area, um, uh, including in like Grand Park and, and elsewhere. So. A uh, lot of places you should can go and, and try this out. And even if you're traveling, it's an opportunity for you to go uh, find uh, geocaches around there as well. Yeah, and just one thing too, um, you know, not that anybody's going to do this right away, but if you do get really into it, there are special lo locations, different state parks, and you can actually earn coins um, for the different geocaches. Um, if you just sign in and mark that you, you know, prove that you've got a geocache. So even something to take forward with you as you're vacation, you know, if you're on a vacation or you're out camping or something, um, you know, it might be a place where you can actually earn a coin. Awesome. Any questions about our next PAC meeting or the activities? Anything else? No. Okay. So just a, a few uh, reminders and updates for everybody to wrap us up for tonight. So parents, uh, you should have gotten an email from the pack today. We're kicking off our membership renewal. Uh, I actually want to um, congratulate Tommy Heisel for being the first one to complete his uh, membership renewal in, in its entirety. So uh, it's a three-step process this year. It should be a lot easier. Uh, please make sure that, uh, that you start and uh, your membership renewal. I'd like to get everybody uh, renewed here before the uh, school year kicks off in September. Uh, also, just a reminder, Saturday, 7 p.m. back here on Zoom will be our uh, scavenger, or Scout Venger Hunt debrief. So make sure that uh, you complete any of your scout venture hunt activities and do some geocaching before then, and then save the date. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, August um, 22nd, we plan on having our 
uh, postponed blue and gold banquet and uh, arrow of light crossover ceremony. Uh, more details uh, on that will be coming out uh, in early August, but please save that date. Uh, we're still not entirely uh, sure how that's going to look, but we will see and we'll keep you posted. And then uh, our new member recruiting will kick off very soon. Uh, thank you to Den2 who recorded a bunch of videos for me. Uh, so I'm going to try to edit those together and we're going to have a cool, uh, have s'more adventures uh, with pack 457 uh, that we can share. So Solomon, I see you have a question. Your hand is in the air. Um, it, on this thing, um, I'm looking at it, and it says placed by Marco 231347. So does that mean, like, we could place our own geocache, then log it? Yes. So um, as Mrs. Kavasik knows, we've been trying to uh, uh, place one for the pack. We haven't quite gotten that uh, arranged yet. So, uh, but yes, you can uh, submit a uh, geocache to uh, to the app, and uh, people can leave it there. I I found out that the one that's not too far away from here uh, has actually been there since 2018, uh, and it tells you if you look in the app, it'll even tell you all the people that have visited it and found it, and uh, sometimes even show you a picture uh, of what it looks like. Although that could be a spoiler if you're trying to uh, trying to find it. So, uh, but yeah, you could you could hide your own geocache if you wanted to. How would I log it? That I don't know. I'd have I'd to look. Submit. Uh, 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 you know what? We'll have to answer that uh, some other time. But for right now, what we're going to be doing for I the activity is just going to find it. have a geocache premium. Possibly, I don't know. Yeah, you have to have the geocache premium. So we won't be hiding anything right now, but we'll figure out a, a way to give you some more information on that. So, all right. With that, any other questions before we wrap up today? All right. That's all we have. Thank you, everybody. I hope you uh, learned a little bit about how to uh, geocache. We'll talk to you on uh, Saturday and see how everybody did in their adventures. Sound good? <laughs> Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you uh, on uh, this weekend.